Today in the video we're going to learn how to create awesome animated SVGs using an awesome tool called SVG Gator. Are you ready? Let's get started. To start creating our animated SVG, the first thing we're going to need is obviously an SVG file. Now, you can download these from the web, you can create them in Illustrator, and you can export them from Sketch or from XD, for example. So, right now I'm in XD, and I want to take this scanner image, and I want to animate the barcode over here to make it look like it's being scanned. So, I'm going to click on it inside of XD and over here down here you can see mark for export if this isn't marked you can just mark that out and you can see over here over the group there is an icon which resembles that it can be exported right now so right click on it and export selected of course you can export only if you marked it for export inside of format we're going to choose SVG. SVG is a vector format, which is really cool. It means that it won't get pixelized when it, you change the size of it and it will always stay sharp. So I'm going to save this to my desktop. I'm going to call it scanner and I'm going to click export. Next things next, jumping into my web browser and there is a website called SVG Gator. SVG animation creator. This is what it does. You just import your SVG and then you can animate it like a timeline that you have in After Effects, for example. So this is really awesome, a really awesome tool and you get 14 days free. You can create whatever you want for 14 days. So even if you're not sure you want to pay anything, you can try it out and let's get started. So over here, I'm going to click login. If you don't have a login, of course, you need to sign up first. You can use uh, Facebook Connect and all that sort of stuff. Over here, this is our dashboard with all our projects. Right now, I don't have any projects, so it looks empty. I'm going to click on the link over here, which is import SVG. And we're going to choose our scanner image. I'm going to click on that and open. And look how awesome that is it already added it and named it as the file name and this is our project everything we do will be saved into this and we can access it at any time from our da all projects dashboard i'm gonna click open let's see how it looks and what's nice about svgs is that they're usually layered each layer you can click on each layer and it's separated now depending where you're bringing this file from it could be nice if the layers were named and then you can also click on something and then see what it is on the left side and understand better the file in some cases the file is not so complicated i mean over here we're going to just want to move this red line up and down so it's pretty simple and I'm going to show you the process of how I do this. So first of all, you select the layer that you want to animate. Right now, I got this red line selected. Down here, we have an option to add animator. This means to add a sort of animation. Now, take in mind that it's going to add the animation only to the selected layer. So right now, we're in the selected layer. I'm going to click Add Animator. And the next thing you can choose is what type of animation you want for it. For example, what I'm going to want is to change the position of the line down and up. So I'm going to click Position. And as you can see, it created a timeline for this effect. And over here, we can see the seconds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to want it to go down from here, down to here. I want it to take one second. So I'm going to scroll to one second with this pointer. And I'm going to click the plus. This means add a keyframe. 
Now, we want the animation to occur from here up to here. And right now, nothing is happening. But to make something happen, we stand on our keyframe. And then we can click on the layer and move it. I'm using the down key right now. Okay. And now, if we look at it, if we scroll back and forth, we can really, really see the animation that we've created from one point to the other. Now, right now, it's going from one way to the other, and I want it to scroll back up, so it's going to be sort of a loop. To do that, I'm going to add another keyframe in two seconds, and now I need to change the position of the red bar to be exactly the same as it was before. Now, to make it exact, I'm going to use the coordinates over here. So I need to check what the coordinate was in the first point. You can see Y43.5. And over here in the last point, let's scroll to it, I want it to go back to 43.5. So I'm gonna paste in the value that I've just copied click tab and as you can see it jumped over to the where it, to where it started now let's look at that looks perfect you can always click play to see how it looks over here now as you can see it stopped at three seconds and not at two seconds to change that we're going to want to click the cogwheel over here and we can determine the duration of the whole animation. So I'm gonna change it to two seconds because our animation ends over here. And we can determine how many times this will occur. Maybe only once, right now it's set up for once. You can determine three times, four times, how, however you want. And I'm gonna decide for it to be infinite. Perfect, let's click play again and see how it looks. Perfect. It stopped where I wanted it to stop. And now the next step is to export this and create our animated SVG. To export, I'm going to click the green export button on top. And we have two type of animations. We can use JavaScript. I'm gonna be honest and say I haven't tried JavaScript. I don't really like JavaScript in cases that we don't need JavaScript and in this case we don't so I'm going to use CSS only and over here we can determine when the animation occurs when it starts does it start on the load of the page when the SVG is loaded does it happen only on mouse over or uh, does it occur on click when clicking on it so just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna choose on mouse over. And you can see over here, you can also choose if it's gonna freeze or restart whenever the mouse is out. Let's make it freeze so it doesn't jump. And usually you're going to want to set up responsive. Responsive means that it will take 100% of the parent that it's inside. If you guys are designers and not coders, it doesn't matter. Just leave it at responsive. You're going to get the best outcome that way. I'm going to click export and now it's going to save it to my desktop. So I'm going to click, call it scanner animation. And what's nice about SVGs is really that they don't need JavaScript or anything like that. Designers can do it. I'm going to click show in finder so I can see it. And now to test it, I'm just going to drag it into the browser. Not many people know that you can do this. SVG is a regular code. So right now you see it's taking full height and width of the browser. It's really, really big, but it's responsive. So meaning if we made our browser smaller or bigger, it would adapt accordingly. And if I put my mouse on it, the animation is happening, which is really, really awesome. And if I take my mouse out, the animation is stopping. So you can just upload this regular SVG into any website. It doesn't matter what you're using, WordPress, Elementor, regular HTML, 
anything you're using, it's gonna be supported. Just drag and drop the image inside and you've got your awesome animated SVG, which is really trending right now. I hope I help you out. If you like this video, please subscribe to my new YouTube channel, Design Hackers. I help designers work faster, earn more money in less time. Exactly like this little design hack right here. Thank you for joining and I'm gonna see you in the next video.